I have developed a simple Excel utility for analysis of health records. I am going to demonstrate how to use this utility. Before that, uh, where the data input comes for this analysis is through other sheets I have mentioned here. Now for each year annual health checkup, uh, you can create one sheet and the all uh, headings should be same. In this format, you have to maintain. So once you maintain data in this sheet, it in analysis sheet. Okay. So here initially it shows how many medical checkups have been done and different categories or what are the medical checkup numbers. Okay, so then the next section is abnormalities observed in the health checkup. Here in one single graph it shows all the abnormalities observed during the health checkup like this. You can um, sort smallest to largest and largest to smallest also. Then the next section is comparing abnorm abnormalities with different groups. Here it's, it's going to be a little bit more uh, deeper level of analysis. Here, uh, for example, you can select an abnormality. Uh, just I want to see uh, the analysis of uh, overweight. Okay, so I will select it from the drop down. Automatically, all this graph will be updated and it shows various results with age group wise, employment category wise, BMI wise, gender wise. And so now, if I want to see a hypertension this will be automatically updated and also it shows BMI, BMI wise analysis of the condition in different age groups so this is particularly important uh, for analyzing non-chronic uh, non-communicable uh, diseases again the analysis uh, goes to age group category BMI is all those things but these uh, first three uh, sections are uh, quite interesting and inter inter and very useful here if you feel that um, I for example for a hypertension I have given criteria as SPB more than or equal to 130 you can go and change this in the master it will be automatically updated for example you have to search for SBP here here I mentioned it as 130 that's why the criteria is taken as 130 more than or equal to 130 now I am going to put as 140 so when I come back, so if I select this again, so it will be 140. So likewise, you have complete control over the utility. You can uh, define your own criteria and you will get the analysis accordingly. So thank